Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of Road to TCG World 2017. Now I'm, I apologize for the light. I have no idea why it's all like I have not moved my computer. I don't know why <laughs> it's so shiny. Uh, but anyways, you, should, you guys should be looking at the screen more than more than me. Anyways, today is Thursday, expanded time, and we are featuring Valplum Laurentis, which got top eight at St. Louis. Ross Coffin um, got top eight there with a the deck. It had a few other showings. Um, it seemed outclassed by the CDI Valplum, at least in my opinion, um, but it still managed to do really well and. I'm not exactly sure who Ross lost to. In top eight, might have been John Kettler with the CGI Valplum. Um, this is still a pretty interesting list as it has a few out of the norm choices, I would say. So we have Laurentis, 210 HP, Flower Supply, 40 damage, Solar Blade, 120. These numbers are better in expanded than in standard, simply because things don't have as much HP. Um, don't have as much HP as they do in standard, I think. And Chlorocyte GX is easier to pull off against um, different things. So yeah, Laurent is pretty good card combined with Valplum to shut down pretty much half of your opponent's deck. It's easier to get Valplum on turn one in expanded than it is in standard. So and have a good port position. So that's the power of Valplum. And we have three Shaman EX to help us set up. Those are the only Pokemon in the deck. We only have nine energy cards as well, nine basic energy cards. And the rest is, um, I'm not going to say consistency because it's a mix between utility and consistency. We have two Acrobikes to try and get the combo going. We can afford to discard energy. We have the Battle Compressor and combined with Revitalizer, um, you get a pretty good... A pretty good combo going where you can pretty much guarantee essentially Lurantis and Valbloom and like any Pokemon you really want. Especially when combined with Forest of Giant Plants to bypass evolution rules. It's a really really strong card. So the 4 Revitalizer is something pretty worthy to note. Um, gives you recovery even if your Valbloom gets knocked out that's pretty okay. As you can see we have no float stone in this list. We only have 4 AC um, to get back the Valplum and essentially play it down immediately but even if it gets knocked out we have the 4 Revitalizer for recovery. Um, for Ultra Ball to get our Pokemon out, 1 Pal Pad which allows you to recycle either AC or the Lysanders or even the Sycamores or the N. So Pal Pad can essentially become any supporter you want and you can continually pick up Valplum through AC and therefore you get access to item cards, but then you play with the Valplum down once again, and your opponent doesn't have access to item cards anymore. That allows you to play your Trainer's Mail as well, your Ultra Balls, your Computer Search, which is pretty important for to search for whatever you need. And finally, the Silver Bangle, which you can actually attach to a Pokemon GX. You cannot attach it to Pokemon GX, but you can attach this card to a Pokemon GX, and therefore increase Laurentis damage output by a lot. Personal changes I would do to the deck. I'm not sure two Acrobike are needed when you have like Battle Compressor and three Shaman and things like that. And you're not even trying to set up the CDI. You're trying to set up uh, stage one, so it should be a lot easier. And more copies of Silver Bangle would definitely be good. But that's the deck. Let's jump into the ladder, see how it plays out. Um, I've, I haven't used this deck myself, honestly. I did play and I did win a league challenge with Laurentis Valplum in standard, but this seems to play out quite quite different. Um, the deck is structured quite quite different, so hopefully I don't make too many misplays. But I feel like, um, I mean, the expanded format is going to be very different. There's only one expanded tournament left and that is the Canada Regional. Everything else is standard, All the two internationals left are standard, Worlds is standard, and every other regional is standard. So, um, by the time we get to play Expanded once again, there will be at least two new sets. At least. So... So yeah, 
even though like we're gonna get we're gonna familiarize ourselves with the current expanded format and <laughs> it smells delicious in my house um, it smells like pancakes um, there's gonna be two brand new sets a lot of new cards and especially the um, the Tapu Koko GX coming out I think that's gonna put a halt on Eveltal's dominance in Expanded because it has no weakness to fighting if it had weakness to fighting then Kalaid would, would be a natural counter but because there won't be I actually think um, yeah I really think that the format is going to be really different the metagame is going to be really different and especially if we don't get any more expanded tournaments until potentially September well, yeah September next season um, it's very likely that yeah there's gonna be Sun and Moon 2 and Sun and Moon 3 released by then so everything's gonna be different everything we know the Sun and Moon 2 cards we don't know the Sun and Moon 3 cards but every new set we get the power creep and we get better and better things so I wouldn't be surprised if Dark finally gets outclassed by then now we do see a turn 1 end by my opponent that's perfectly fine should be able to set up through Shaman here what we need is our stadium that's all we need my opponent chooses to to rush in to take advantage of the max elixirs that makes sense definitely makes sense and we top deck the stadium which is great so I'm gonna play the acro I'm going to keep huh. yeah I'm gonna keep the energy discard the gloom off of the ultra ball I'm gonna discard the Valplume. well and another energy or should I keep the Valplume? Um, I guess I mean yeah I'm gonna discard two energy and I'm gonna grab shaman I'm gonna play the stadium I'm gonna evolve I'm gonna attach the energy to the full mantis and then I'm gonna set up for five brand new cards it really doesn't matter which card I kept from the acrobike Wow, a lot depends on this trainer's mail. Okay, so we get an AZ to reuse Shaman. But what is this? That was absolutely terrible. That was in fact terrible. I'm gonna Chlorosai and power up Laurentis, but wow. It should be easier to set a Valplum here and actually completely whiffed here. Absolutely, completely whiffed absolutely and completely whiffed wow I am very surprised this happened okay we see an escape rope oh boy so we're gonna lose the shaman even yikes but looks like my opponent will end us which is great <laughs> um, losing the shaman sucks because we do give two free prizes for my opponent but once we get the lock going, we should be good. I hope, I think. Yeah, losing that shaman is not great. But I doubt it's gonna matter in the grand scheme of things. Nobody decides to dynamotor. Onto the Keldio, interestingly enough. Replaces my stadium. And we'll deal a bajillion damage to the poor Shaman. So, with another bleh, with another energy, we can Chlorocyte GX for the knockout. The thing is, okay, there we go. First of giant plants, that's great. Um, yeah, that's actually really good. Okay, so I'm gonna play the compressor. And I'm gonna get rid of a Nudish because I, I'm gonna get it back with the with the revitalizer. And what else do I get rid of? Should I get rid of? I'm gonna get rid of the Valplum. And a, wow, there's one Laurentis prize, okay. 
Okay, so I'm not gonna do that. And I'm gonna get rid of... Yeah, another... another compressor. Okay, so I'm gonna get back the Oddish and the Gloom. I definitely want to get the luck going this turn. Now, I could end, and I do think that's better. Because it's gonna be one less card, yes, but I also limit my opponent's hand. So I'm gonna go for the end, and hopefully we can set up the Valplum, either through Revitalizer or Ultra Ball, or both, as we are seeing right now. I'm gonna attach the Silver Bangle, because I can. And... Okay, this is what I do. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. The Fulmantis and the Trainer's Mail. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab another... No, I'm gonna grab the Laurentis. And then we get to use Revitalizer. We get back the Fulmantis and the Valplum. It, this allowed us to like make the best use of the Revitalizer. I'm not going to play down the Valplum yet. I'm actually going to shame him before that. Just in case there's like other item cards we want to play, but no, there's actually no other item cards we want to play. And we can Chlorocyte GX to knock out the Raikou, 180 damage, and honestly that should be pretty close to game. Um, no item cards for my opponent, no threat to my Valplum at all. And looks like Master of T will not be the master of today's game. Yep, and there's a victory. Vibrant had no chance to do anything after that, I don't think. Wow, we get a ton of points <laughs> for our efforts. And yeah, I mean, the luck got delayed. Really wasn't that big a deal. Um, Raikou was not too threatening. We were able to get two energy in the discard bell and Chlorocyte on turn two. If he had attacked into the Lurantis, and then had a follow-up somehow maybe we would have been in trouble actually not maybe we would have definitely been in trouble but because that was not the case well there we go we got the win so good game master of t just in case you are watching and let's see what happens here Okay, so we mulligan. Okay. Shame and start. That's okay. Because we have our supporter. We are going second once again though. Are going second and wow we see Sigalith Carbiter that's that's a weird combination why why <laughs> seriously why why would you play Sigalith with Carbiter because Sigilith, its whole point is its ability, and you're not using the ability right there. Oh well. So, let's do this. I'd really rather find an AC right here. That would be best case scenario. Once again, a 1-1 one, one Lurantis line is priced. We see one Oddish and a Valplum priced as well, so that's four of our price cards. And... And other things which I can't tell right now, but there's four four Pokemon priced. That's weird. Okay. Can we find an AC here? No, we can't. We can however find a battle compressor. Okay, so I might just let that shaman go down. I'm gonna discard the Oddish, the Gloom, and the Valplum? Yeah. 
that makes sense. I'm gonna rely on Revitalizer, sure. But it's really no big deal. Now the energy though, who do I attach the energy to? Do I retreat and save the Shaman? Nah. We can let Shaman go down here. Uh, we do get the double. We do hit the double. And... Trainer's Mail. Huh. I'm gonna grab a little Lysander. Okay, the other trainer's mail. I'll grab the AC, now the N. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to ultra all away these two. Find myself Shaman. Yeah, I guess Shaman. Because I'm not going to attack this turn. And then I'm going to play one of these. I'm going to get back these two. I mean, I'm still going to... I'm still going to set up the pal pool, most likely. I'll just pal pad these two supporters back. Don't really need the Sycamore. The other two are more useful, I would say. So sure, my opponent can get Garb out, but it's really no big deal if he does. And yeah, I'll just set up the Valplum here. Mm, I mean, there's an argument not to. Nah, this is fine. Well, should I? Uh, no, because I want the Lysander just in case he does evolve into, into Carbodor. So with a DC he will deal 70 damage exactly to knock us out. There's a DCE. Are we gonna see a Garbodor as well? No, we see an N. That's fine. Thankfully, Sigilyph does not prevent damage from GX Pokemon. Hmm. We don't get a great hand. My opponent plays a parallel. We do have the immediate Forest of Giant Plants response. And that Taurus means 100%. We will be using our GX attack onto that guy. 100%. Okay. <laughs> Poison damage still. We find an energy. Okay. Here I can bring up the Valplum. But, I mean, I don't need the Silver Bangle. The Bile Compressor is also pretty irrelevant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the energy. And I'm gonna play the end. Could have played Sycamore as well. Could have definitely played the Sycamore, but I want to reduce my opponent's hand size. I really do. And there we go. Clears, I mean flower supply. Does allow me to attach the energy in any way I want. Therefore reducing the damage I deal, or rather that Seagull it deals to me. I can separate it like this and then I can, whenever that Taurus does come up to attack, I can just attach an energy and Chlorocyte GX for the knockout. Same as against that Mewtwo. Mewtwo is a little bit more problematic though. It's gonna be a good follow-up attacker. And my opponent does find the Juniper off of the N24. I might end up having to use my GX attack against Mewtwo instead. He deals 100 damage. I'm gonna heal 30. Should I keep the energy though? I think I should. So I'm just gonna Solar Blade. So I want to keep this energy just in case I need to knock out either Mewtwo or the Taurus. The damage I heal is great. And my opponent promotes Strawish, which makes sense. And he decides to promote Taurus immediately. 
goes for the horn attack. And we top deck the one card we really wanted. Okay. Is it though? If I knock out the Mewtwo, I get an extra turn off of Laurentis. If I knock out the Taurus, then Mewtwo comes up and starts cleaning house. So actually the Mewtwo is more threatening, I think. So I'm gonna knock out the Mewtwo. That was a really lucky top deck. That was definitely a very lucky top deck. We find a Valbloom and an AC. That's cool. That is actually cool. We could even AZ up the Laurentis. Although I think just dealing damage is fine. What we need is another energy. So that we have back to back attacks on the Taurus. That's what we really need. But he shouldn't be able to kill my Laurentis here. He really shouldn't. We're gonna miss an energy. That's what we're really going to need here. Wow, this card's a ton of resources. Probably trying to find the Garb. But find some Mewtwo and an energy instead. So we're still not out of the woods yet. There's a 60 damage. Okay. So I'm gonna pick up the Valplum. I'm gonna play both Acrobikes and I'm looking for energy. There we go. That computer search might as well be called energy well we also need a a Laurentis GX I guess uh, that's bad that's a bad acrobike okay so I'm gonna discard these two I'm going to find the energy I really need for the follow-up Laurentis GX and I'm going to play one of these guys and now I'm going to play the Valplum line back down and I will Solar Blade for 120 damage then he G Mad Bull GX or he does whatever he wants back and then I Sycamore, hoping, wow, hoping to hit my only Laurentis in the deck. That is really bad news. Everett could potentially Lysander kill the Shaman and make that game. So I'm gonna see eight cards the following turn. If I don't find the Laurentis, I probably lose. If I find the Laurentis, maybe I win, but my opponent has so many cards. And all he's going to need is a Lysander. I mean he's only he's already used one. So there is a chance he won't have it. And okay. So I find a Lysander. Can the Lysander help me out? Not really. So I'm just gonna stick over. As long as it's not in the last five cards, the Laurentis, and it is. It actually is. Wow. So my opponent gets another turn. We lose our last Fomantis. We also. Um, <laughs> we also lost a Lysander win condition against Shaman. So that, yeah, that's gonna be game, actually. That is 100% going to be game. Mewtwo's just gonna 2-hit KO us, and that's gonna be it. And then my opponent can Skyla for the Lysander for the win. Yeah. So we lose here. The uneven price trade-off works out for my opponent. Even if I had found... I needed two cards, Laurentis and the Lysander. And I drew the Lysander first and then the Laurentis. So we drew the cards in the wrong order. We cannot save both Shaman. <laughs> There's the Laurentis. 
nice of you to show up, Mr. Laurentis. And yeah. I mean, I'll take the knockout, I guess, but... Whoops. I will take the knockout onto the Taurus. And I will be one prize card away from winning the match. Yep, my last prize, the, our last prize was a Laurentis GX, unfortunately. What are you gonna do? There's a guard, finally. So my opponent will be able to just completely demolish whatever he wants to demolish. I personally would have gone against the Valbloom just for the Vendetta, because of how annoying it is, or it has been all game. And there's a win for my opponent. So, yeah. I mean, the only way we could have survived that turn was if we didn't have a bench, but then Mewtwo just walks all over Laurentis. So, yeah. That's gonna be it for today, guys. One win, one loss with this deck. Um, Valplum is very restrictive, but you have a lot more options to play around it. In the expanded format, thanks to AC, um, we will be getting a new supporter in the standard format, which, as long as Valplum is damaged, you can re reuse, like you can recycle with that supporter, just like with AC, but that's still a long way to go until we get that card, probably until Worlds, and then immediately after the format will change, but it might be relevant for Worlds, who knows. In the meantime, that's gonna be it for me. Tomorrow we get to see two new Pokedex decks, one in English and one in Spanish, and next week we'll figure out what decks we want to showcase next. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be seeing you on Monday or tomorrow for Pokedex action. Thank you guys, don't forget to leave a like, and bye bye